my name is Jesse, Jesse Powell, and I am a, a grad student at Scripps, and we're here in the gyre station for the Cplex cruise. Um, right now we're doing a bongo tow, which is a plankton net that goes beneath the surface to collect plankton and possibly plastic as well. Um, the, the, meter, the, the bongo net goes down to about 200 meters below the surface and collects plankton on the way up. The goal of this uh, particular uh, net tow is to get an idea of the plankton assemblage, what types of species are present at this station, and measure the abundance of that plankton. And then if there's plastic below the surface of the, of the water, then we're also going to measure the abundance of the, of the plastic. A healthy ocean is important because it provides us with, uh, with food and with oxygen and the climate that we have. And we're not entirely sure of all the feedback interactions uh, between the biology of the ocean and the physics of the ocean and the chemistry of the ocean. So it's possible that pollution way out here in the gyre may have effects that we could feel on land, but we have to measure them before we can say with any certainty what, what those effects would be. At the very least, we know that putting a lot of trash in the ocean is changing the ecosystem from what it, from what it once was into an entirely different ecosystem, and that uh, has unpredictable effects. We know it has bad effects for some sea creatures. We don't know about the ones that we're looking at right now. One of the things that we'll be looking for is if there's actually any pla uh, plastic located beneath the surface. Most plastic floats and, and some of it sinks, but there's some plastic that is close enough to the density of the water that it might be floating subsurface. There's not been um, a real effort to look for plastic below the surface of the water, so it'll be interesting to see what comes up in the bongo. The plastic started showing up a day and a half ago in higher densities, and so now that we're truly starting to get into the gyre waters, and we are in the gyre waters, um, we've been seeing lots of small and large plastic particles at the surface, but this is our first subsurface tow. It'll be interesting to see what comes up. So uh, one of the uh, aspects of these types of net tows is that we try to be as consistent as possible in our methods. We, we don't want to introduce variability into our, into our technique so that if we get twice the amount of plankton in one tow compared to another, we can safely say that it's probably because there's twice as amount, the amount of plankton in the water, not because we towed differently or towed twice as fast. So we have all these measurements. We have flow meters in the, in the mouth of the nets. We have angle meters on the wire. And uh, it allows us to be more confident in the results that we get, that we are being more precise. Um, for this type of uh, cruise, where we're looking specifically for plastic, I don't think we've had this variety of nets and these, uh, these types of tried and true methods for measuring the abundance of plastic in the ocean. And, and so it'll be good to uh, carry these methods forward for all future cruises so that we're consistent and start creating a baseline for, for future cruises.